In this video, I'm going to show you how to disable the function keys for the Siemens Firefinder XLS fire alarm panel. And the uh, board in here, we have the uh, Siemens, I'm going to focus, there we go, PMI-2. So uh, typically, you'll have your main screen here. You can, if, you're not, if you don't see the screen, you can go into your menu and it'll bring it here. And then you have your function keys at the top. So you have your alert, your report, your maintenance, your function keys. And then down below, you have logout, diagnostics, lamp test, and uh, just the empty button right here. So you could use the uh, function key buttons here at the top to interface with the panel as needed. So for disabling, we're gonna do the top right button, which is function keys. So we're gonna hit this button. And it's gonna come up with a list of uh, disable and enable points. So we have the F1 as AV disarm, so audio visual disarm, F2 as audio visual arm, F3 as elevator recall disarm, F4 as elevator recall arm, F5 as elevator shunt trip disarm, and F6 as elevator shunt trip arm. So what we want to do for the purposes of this video is we want to disable our AV or our audible circuit. So when we test the fire alarm system, no horns or strobes will activate. So you have disarm and arm. Currently, because I have nothing disabled, everything is technically armed. So I want to disarm the audio visual. So I'm gonna hit, this is a touch screen, so I'm gonna hit the F1. So now it turns red. And as you see, uh, I have the execute button here. So just to show you from scratch, if I go into this menu with the function, the execute button is not lit up, so I can't hit it. It doesn't do anything because I have not selected an option yet. So once I hit the uh, disarm button here, you see now the execute button is lit up as well as the F1 button is lit up. So now if I hit execute, I'll get a uh, trouble come in and they will have my audio video disabled. So I'm gonna hit the execute. So I have my trouble coming in here. I'm gonna again hit that menu button. So you go out to your uh, menu screen right here. And on the left, I'm gonna go to the alert now. So first we went into the function buttons here on the right. Now I'm gonna go to the left button to alert. And you see I have supervisories and troubles. So I'm gonna hit this button here. And then I have the audio video uh, flashing, disable, as the exclamation mark flashing. So I'm gonna hit the acknowledge button here in the lower left to silence that button, so, or silence the panel. So I'm gonna hit acknowledge, and now the panel silenced. And as you see, I have my audio video disarmed, my AV is disarmed. So now I can do testing without the horn strobes going off. And let's say, uh, you know, we're at the end of the day now, and I want to put the system back to normal, so I'll, I'll do a reset to clear any alarms. Then I'll go into the, uh, the menu button again here. Again, I'll go to my function keys here on the right. So I'll hit the right button, function keys. And then I have my options again. So you see nothing's lit up right now for execute. None of my F1, F bu uh, abil uh, buttons are lit up. So I'm going to go to F2 now to arm. So I'm going to arm the audio, audio visual circuit. So I'm going to hit that. And it's going to turn red and then the execute button is going to light up. So I'm going to hit that. So now it turned red and now the execute button is lit up. So now I'm going to hit the execute. And you see up here my trouble cleared, my trouble light. And just to verify that, we're going to go out to the menu again. And I'm going to go to the left where it was alert. So I'm going to check my alerts. And now my trouble's gone. I can't even select it because I have no troubles because I haven't disarmed anything. So now the audio visual circuit is armed again. So if I test any smoke detectors, pulse stations or anything like that, the horn strobes will activate and they will go off. And that is how you use the function keys for the Siemens Firefinder XLS fire alarm panel.